I'm Lauren Thompson and this is Mac Weekly. It seems hard to believe, but we're getting ready for week six of the season. Late game heroics helped push Western Michigan past Connecticut Saturday. Quarterback Alex Carter used seven different receivers, but it was Jordan White, Caleb Ravenel, and Robert Arnheim that made the difference. Arnheim set new career highs with 113 yards and 10 catches. White contributed with 173 yards and two touchdowns. And he says that making big plays is tough to describe. And it's it's weird when you play the game that right at, you'll hear you'll hear the fans and you'll hear people screaming, but then right on the snap of the ball, you really can't hear any of that. It's all zoned out, and you hear well you catch the ball, you're running, you're running, and you score, and it all like warps back. It's like and then you. Can, you hear the fans and everybody else yelling. The Broncos face Bowling Green this weekend. Toledo got a big win versus Temple on the road in hostile Philadelphia. The Rockets set the tone early, scoring 15 points in the first. Wide receiver Eric Page scored twice. He had one reception and one touchdown pass to quarterback Dwight Macon. Toledo hosts Eastern Michigan this Saturday and Temple travels to Bowling Green. Central Michigan also started conference play this weekend with a big win over Northern Illinois. Chippewa's running back Paris Cotton was a beast. Cotton had 110 yards on the day with three receptions and a score on the ground. Central Michigan hits the road to play at North Carolina State. Northern Illinois hosts Kent State. Eastern Michigan and Akron battled over the weekend. After the Eagles made it 31-16, the game looked to be over, but the Zips charged back, scoring in the fourth. It was too little too late, however, and Eastern Michigan held on to the win. The Eagles travel to Toledo and Akron faces Florida International. Ohio is off to a great start. The Bobcats are 4-1, their best start since 1997. Tyler Tettleton threw for 276 yards and two touchdowns, and this week they go to Buffalo to play the Bulls. And here's a look at this week's MAC football schedule. And now take a look at the players of the week. For schedules, scores, and more, stay connected to MaxSports.com.